Here we go. False prophets. Your bishops can't capture. Use that. Yeah, I'm going to use it like a to gain some tempo, essentially. Though I don't, I mean, I can't really use them anyway, so I'll just like sacrifice them. This is drawbackchess.com, and I've been hearing a lot about this. Some people have said I should give it a try. I know nothing about it. I don't even know what it means. Drawback chess. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. So, this is my first experience with this ever. If you know your approximate ELO, Enter it here. We'll use it to determine your starting ELO. Players with higher ELOs will get tougher drawbacks than their opponents. So if you enter a big number, be prepared for a challenge. Interesting. So I'm going to say 2,200. I think that's kind of an average depending on which of these you, you use. But let's go with 2,200. How to play. Okay, please read. You have a hidden drawback. You can't see your opponent's drawback and they can't see yours. You can't make illegal moves. Your legal moves are highlighted for you. Okay. Checkmate and stalemate do not exist. That's weird. You lose if your king is captured or if you have no legal moves due to your drawback. It's legal to ignore apparent threats to your king, move into check, move a piece that's pinned, your king, etc. Okay. Kings may be captured on passant if your king castles out of or through a check. On your opponent's next move, it can be captured by playing any move to the square it left or moved through. Okay, so like in normal chess, you can't castle if you're in check, and you can't castle through a check. So I guess they're just saying, if you try to do that here, and the person moves the piece there, you would lose. I think is what that's saying. Not all drawbacks are equal, and some are harder than others. If your opponent has an easier drawback than yours, you'll win more points if you win. Okay, cool. So what are the drawbacks though? That's what I want to know. Like, can I see the draw? Oh, should I do this or should I just play first? I feel like I should just jump in and then we'll come back to the drawback glossary. That's what I think I should do. Let me, let me actually make my face a little smaller here. So I'm not covering that. Okay. Let's just play. I just want to play. Um, join Q. Why not? We'll, we'll just, we're just going to go for it. You may or may not get your time preference. You can adjust preferences from your profile uh any let's how about a three two but i'm open to anything okay we joined the queue we joined the queue i'm a little bit nervous oh here we go uh lethal attraction you can't make moves that make your pieces further away from your opponent's king what does that mean what, is, what does that even mean? Oh, what, what's wrong with the... Uh, I have to do this. There we go. Okay. I don't understand what that means. You can't make moves that make your pieces farther away from your opponent's king? I, don't, I have no idea what that means. That make your pieces farther? Does it, does it mean like if I have a bishop here, I can't like move backwards because it gets further away? Is that what it means? Why is my name Happy Green Dolphin? Do I get to, do I get to change that? I'm trying to checkmate me. Reveal drawback to opponent? Oh no, why would I do that? All right, let's play Knight of Six. So you can't make moves that move. So let me just see. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, I can't go here. So basically you just can't retreat, essentially. Depending on where his king is, obviously, but you can't retreat, essentially. Okay. I, that's how I normally play chess anyway. So that's really not that bad. So he's... Oh, okay, we're doing a fried liver here. Should we do the Traxler? Should I just go with the typical... Yeah, let's... Actually, we'll we'll do the Fritz... So uh, Fritz Gambit. How about that? Knight to d4. Let's do that. I don't think I need to retreat in this line, do I? Hmm. No, we should be good. Should be good. Smart Pink Tiger is thinking. It's a Fritz. It's the Fritz Gambit. So usually they play d6 and we take it with the queen. Can't make moves that make your pieces farther away. So yeah, what the only thing I'm concerned about here, folks, is if I go here, that makes it farther away. I can't actually play the move I need to play, and I'm just now realizing that. Probably should have thought that through a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. He's going to take her and I can't go there. Oh, my. Oh, no. So what do I do? What do I do? 
because really the only moves I could play with my queen would be here and here, right? Or I can go to c5. That's not like, it's really not very good because I, I really need to go here. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to go with c5. It's it's like the only not terrible option that I'm that I'm seeing here. Let's go queen c5. Man, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we can take the bishop. That's moving closer. Yeah. And we do have a threat. We can keep going closer. And trading the queen would probably be fine. I can also go for this king move now, but then my queen's in trouble. Yeah, let's go ahead. Take that. Here we go. And, ah, I won't be able to take the rook, though. Oh, that's interesting. That is kind of annoying now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so we can take that if we want. And I have no idea what the other drawbacks are, so I, ha I have no idea what my opponent's limitations are. I feel like trading the queens is... Actually, is it good? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just go here or something. Or here. I need more pieces. Let's actually... How about this one? Maybe we'll try to take this. Because I want to castle and use the rook. What I want to do. He's going faster. Yeah, let's castle, I think. There is a fork, but I don't really care about a fork. I would like to take that, but I can't. I can't take the pawn. No, let's castle first. Wait. Why can't I castle? Oh, because it's farther away from the king. <laughs> okay. Didn't see that one coming. Let's just bring the rook in. I'm going to lose on time because I'm so confused. That's annoying. I wanted to... Oh, okay. Okay, so we could take here. No, let's get the rook involved. Get the rook involved. Oh, my... I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oops. Oops. <laughs> should have taken the queen. I should have taken the queen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think the first game was a failure here. Maybe I can just move quickly and you blunder something. Castled? Okay, interesting. Let's go forward. How am I going to get checkmate when I can't? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can't, I can't go backwards. All right. Forward. Forward. Let's go here. I wanted to move that, but nope. Yes. Can't castle. Um, I really don't know what to do. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta just do that. Smart pink tiger. Ooh, gotta check. Okay. All right. He's gonna. What? What is this? All right. I didn't see that. Hmm. Man. Move here. Can I move? Yeah, that's still closer to the king. Okay. Oh, boy. What a bad first game. I guess we'll take it. What is his drawback, though, I wonder? It just feels like... White's just able to do whatever they want. And I'm the one that's just stuck here. I hope it shows the drawback at the end of the game. I'm going to be really sad if it doesn't show it. But surely, I mean, surely they're going to show that. Uh, so eventually I'm going to just run out of moves, right? Can I pre-move that one? Yeah. Oh, we've got him thinking. We've got him thinking. Go here. And now... I might be in trouble. 
I might be in trouble, folks. I'm gonna go check, and I can move here. There's checkmate, isn't it? Okay, I'll just let him take my king. You lot. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, your opponent's drawback was guerrilla tactics. After playing a capturing move, you must return the capturing piece to its previous location if possible. Drawback difficulty ratings are calculated adaptively. Did you like your drawback? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I didn't mind it at first until I tried to castle. Okay, I got I got to I got to play this again because that was interesting. Let's join Q, I guess. Okay. Now that I now that I kind of have an idea here. Let's see if we can do better. Leveling up. You can't capture a piece until you've captured its predecessor in the list. So I take a pawn before I can take anything. Oh, that seems pretty easy. I've captured nothing. So let's let's uh, let's just go for the pawn trade straight away, and then we can move on to. You can't capture a piece until you've captured it. So I assume. Once I take the pawn, then I can always take more pawns and knights and stuff, right? So let's go ahead. Captured a pawn. So now I should be able to take knights or pawns, right? Let's go queen a5. Oh, why is it keep... Uh, hold on, sorry, I have to uh, roll. There you go. Happy green dolphin. I need to see if I can change my, my name, actually, too. All right, so we need to take a knight next. So I'm going to... Let's actually play c6 so we can just retreat here. At least, th what's nice about this is it doesn't, like, restrict my moves for the most part. I mean, capturing some, but, like, the other one not being able to, like, move backwards and sideways sometimes and castling, that was really annoying. Okay, I wouldn't be able to capture the queen if he just goes there. Hopefully, hopefully they're not going to do that, right? Because why would you do that, right? But I would probably just lose because I couldn't take it. What I want to do is is go here and take the knight. Oh, well, this works even better. Perfect. Captured a pawn and knight. Okay. So now I need to take a bishop. Mm hmm. Let's just jump the knight over here. And I can capture that if I need to. I think I will pin it. Probably castle here. And let's see if we can get this bishop right here. Okay, I don't really want to trade that. We'll go back. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, I'm thinking e6 and try to trade this guy. Or even just jump here. To take like this. Yeah, that seems like it's going to be the, the move. Go ahead. We'll pre-move that one. Ah, okay. Queen e3. So we could take that. It's a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. But it moves me up the list of what I can do, which is nice. I don't know if it's worth sacrificing, though. Or I just move my knight somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I better not sack a piece like that. That seems like a bad decision. So we'll just try to castle and keep keep trying to get one of the bishops. So really, yeah, to win the game, I won't be able to capture the king till I take the queen. That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and castle. And how do we get this bishop out of here? That's the question. What an awkward position. Um... Let's go here. Put the pressure on the pawns. Maybe we can double up here and line up on that guy. Bishop c3, okay. I think we just take this one. I wanna take this pawn on d3. It's hard uh, focusing when you have little kids. Um, okay, I have a minute. Let's, let's see. Can't take that. I mean, I could take it, but I don't wanna take it. Fine. 
I don't know, let's play E6. Just get the pieces out. Have to get one of these bishops. Have to get a bishop. Let's see. Let's just go hunt it down. Hunt it down. That doesn't even do anything for me because I haven't taken a rook yet. So probably shouldn't even try. First, let's get the bishop. That's the first thing. Okay, great. And if he takes this, we actually get two bishops, which is awesome. No, okay. Now we need to take a rook. So there's an idea. But he doesn't know that, so we could still pretend like we're going for checkmate. And we can take pawns, so why not? I'm going to try to go here. Trade the rooks. Okay, there we go. Now we can take a queen. Let's see. This threatens the the forced queen trade. And then we would be able to take the king. Perfect. Perfect. He doesn't really stop that. So let's take it with a check. And I could go, let's see. There's there's a couple of threats here. Uh he blocks that. Okay, perfect. There's the there's the forced queen trade. There it is. And now we can take the king. So now we're just playing regular chess at this point. Well, regular except my opponent has a drawback, which obviously might be affecting their moves. Let's go here. It's opposite color bishops, but have a lot of pawns, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let me get the king up there. Throw in a check. Why not? Let me go here. I'm going to use the C file. Okay, let's shut down the rook. We'll probably have to deal with that. So let's defend. I can. Okay. Could have brought my king over and then brought the rook back. That's what I was going to do. Go here. Oh, he moved. Okay. Okay. Forgot about that little detail. You, yeah, yeah, no, 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 not this time, not this time. Okay, your opponent's drawback was modest. You lose if you have more pieces than your opponent. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, all right. I think I have time for one more game for this video. This is this is pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty fun. I'm enjoying this. All right, let's let's. I'm already in the queue. Cool. Here we go. False prophets. Your bishops can't capture. Your bishops can't capture. Okay. So how do you how can you trade the bishops without actually I mean basically what I'm trying to do is get my opponent to take it. And then I, you know, use that. Yeah, I'm going to use it like a, to gain some tempo, essentially. So I don't, I mean, I can't really use them anyway. So I'll just like sacrifice them to get an aggressive position. That seems like a good, a good strategy there. I mean, ideally, if I put them somewhere that they could just take it, that would be even better. But let's play d4. We're just going to like be f aggressive here. Bishops can't capture. Okay. Okay, we've got we've got the pawns there looking good. 
So I could go here, and how do I get black to take that? Oh yeah, see here, I could put it here. And that's that's exactly what I want to do, because if he takes, it's essentially trade it, even though it couldn't do anything. Okay. I want to play d6, but... Yeah, let's do d6, because he doesn't know that I can't take. Unless he's guessing that that's my thing, but no, okay. All right, we've got some weaknesses. I think we can make this work. We just need to, uh, knight f5 though. Hmm. I guess we gotta make that knight move. But what I wanna do is go here. What I wanna do. But without losing the pawn though, so that's the tricky part. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, we're gonna take the knight. Yeah, we've got a good position now because the bishop is kind of stuck. So how do we be a little careful, I guess. King h1 and bring the rook over or what? What else can we do? Knight, I don't think knight to d4 is very good, is it? Hmm. Rook e1, I don't know where the rook's going to go. Interesting. Uh, 3, 6, 3, 6. I don't know if I want to really trade queens. I don't. Think so, although maybe I do because my king is more. Hey, you know what? We, maybe we, I will offer a queen trade because black's position's awkward. I mean, yeah, you can get the bishop there but with two moves, but I'm going to be able to. Okay, he doesn't want to trade. So now we can go rook g1, though. Yeah, rook g1. There's going to be some shenanigans here, but we can just defend. Let's defend it. And actually I can... I can keep harassing the queen here before black has time to do this. Okay. The bishop wants to go there. I could stop that temporarily with like queen e4. But he's going to play rook b8. And he's going to go there next move. And I could jump down here. Doesn't look so bad. I also play king g1 so that I could meet that with like 95. Also looks decent. Let me, let me go with this one. I like the look of this one. So queen e4 here. He's going to go rook b8. And then I think I'm going to try to come down here. Because if we get the pawn on e7... That looks pretty dangerous. And if he doesn't trade, then maybe I do something like this and just go on the offensive. Yes, that's what's going to happen. Okay. Knight g5. Knight e5 is another one. Uh, knight e5 because then we can come here. But I could also do it this way. Let's go knight g5. So... Bishop check, we have f3 or king g1, really. I'm not sure which one's better. Yeah, hmm. It's tricky. Let me go king g1. I don't know if that's the best or not. Interesting position here. But I wonder what our opponent's drawback is. Okay, so option number one, knight to e4 to try to come in here. I guess we could take the pawn. I guess, what is black trying to do? I don't actually know. Probably just take all my pawns and push this. We could take here. I think I want to do this. Ah, but the bishop will take me. H4, H5 is another one. Let me try that one because then it gives my king some breathing room too, which might be useful. And I think if we trade this, it gets more dangerous for black's king. Okay, he's not really threatening anything that I can see. Except maybe here. But on queen d5, I guess we just go f3. Or king h2, actually. King h2 opens up the rook to defend. Queen d4. Okay, I don't know what the queen is doing, but... I'm going to just keep attacking. All right. Yes. So how do we do this now? 
knight to e4 to jump in here. If he takes, I take with the rook, and we try to swing over and do some something like that. Ah, uh, wait a second. Ooh. That is a nice checkmate. Wow. That's a super nice checkmate. I didn't see that one. Um, okay. Oh, was I about to... I didn't realize I was that low on time. I thought I had a few more seconds. Okay. That's, that's a lame way to end. The problem was, there was a super nice checkmate there. Because I, I wanted to go knight of six. But he was just going to take it. And when I take the queen, check mate. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. All right. Um, what was my opponent's drawback? You can't capture on the fourth rank. So random. Like, fourth rank? So you couldn't take this? Could have just left that there the whole time? I could have just done something like that. What a weird game. I mean, it's fun though. I like it. I like it. It's it's pretty fun. Ah, happy green dolphin. There it is. How about Nelsie? An My Elo's 1908 from three games. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing so hot so far. <laughs> Oh, I think it's time. I think it's time to check Drawback Glossary. We've played. We know how it works. And False Profits. Okay. We saw that one. Bishops can't capture. Guerrilla Tactics. Just passing through. You can't capture on the rank. Okay. You can't make moves that make your pieces far. Yeah, that one... That one was tough. Leveling up. Can't capture a piece until you've captured... Oh, these are the only ones that I've played against? Play more games to discover more drawbacks? I was expecting it to like have everything here. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. All right. Well, you guys can let me know what some of the other interesting ones are. Um, okay. That was fun. I will probably be doing this again at some point in the future, uh, here and there, when I need a break from, from regular chess. Very uh, interesting concept. And um, yeah, I'd be, be curious to hear what you guys think about this too. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp. Play smart. Take care.